This video explains how to reproduce and fix the error message error in call means x must be numeric in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines two to five of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six. And then you can see that our data frame contains 10 rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. And you can already see that the first column contains characters and the columns x2 and x3 three contain numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to apply the prcomp function to our data frame. Then we might try to apply the function as you can see in line eight. However, if you do that, you can see that the error in call means x and a dot remove equals to true, x must be numeric is returned. And the reason for that is that some of our data frame columns contain non-numeric values. So in this specific case, the column x1 contains characters instead of numbers. Now, there are basically two solutions for this problem. So the first solution is that we remove all non-numeric columns from our data set. And we can do that, as you can see, in lines 10 and 11 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame data new one is created. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 12 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a subset of our input data frame, which contains only the two numeric columns x2 and x3. Now, if we apply the prcomp function to this new data frame, as you can see in line 14 of the code, a valid output is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console and no error message is returned anymore. So this is the first solution that I want to show you in this tutorial. So in this first example, we have simply removed all the non-numeric columns. However, it's also possible to convert our non-numeric columns to numeric columns, as you can see in the next example. So in line 16 of the code, I'm duplicating our input data frame because I want to keep an original version of our input data frame. So after running this line of code, a new data set called data new2 is created. And then I'm replacing the values in the non-numeric column x1 by a numeric version of this column. So after running line 17 of the code, our data frame is updated, as you can see by running line 18 of the code. And now you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the values in our input column x1 have been changed to numbers. Now, in this case, we can use our updated data frame to apply the prcom function to this data frame, as you can see in line 20 of the code. So after running this line of code, another output is returned, which is considering the values in our updated data frame, data new two. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.